Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's solution session hosted by Data Terrain. We are dedicated to business intelligence for over a decade, providing automated reports conversion, custom development, pre-built reports, and short-term fixed cost support. Today, we're going to be reviewing Oracle Analytics Cloud. And with that, I'm going to have Jagi get started. Thank you, Leah. Uh, Leah, let me just make sure that you're able to see my screen as well as uh, my voice is audible. Absolutely, you're good to go. Thank you, Leah. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the session on the Oracle Analytics Cloud. Uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the Oracle Analytics Cloud. What exactly does Oracle Analytics Cloud means? When is it appropriate to use the Oracle Analytics Cloud? And what are the features and facilities and flexibilities are available in the Oracle Analytics Cloud? So the acronym for Oracle Analytics Cloud is OAC. And this is the latest business intelligence technology that is serviced and provided by the Oracle uh, Consulting. What exactly OAC is, Unlike other BA applications, our previous versions and uh, um, evolvement of the Oracle BI, OAC is not just an application. It is also a platform where you can have a multiple integrated components uh, apart from just the BI service. So it is, a, it is serviced as a platform for the users and this is all maintained and supported by the Oracle team itself. This resides on the latest cloud infrastructure that is developed by Oracle team. And that is called the OCI or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The OAC has a data visualization component, which is also called as data visualization cloud service which is a tool that is more analyst friendly. By the term analyst friendly, what I mean is, in the previous versions of Oracle, there, need, there might be a lot of technical things that has to be undergone and you need a technology spe specialist to perform, build the analytics and uh, you know, create the reportings and all those things. When you go to OAC, you still have those capabilities, but some of the most uh, frequently required questions uh, by an analyst who's just analyzing the data is very flexible in the OAC using the data visualization component. OAC does support most of the latest trends happening in the analytics space like the machine learning capabilities, big data support, and all the major latest things. This is what we have a high level explanation of OAC. When do we use a OAC? The first and the foremost point is when you want your infrastructure responsibilities to be taken away from your team. So you don't need to have an infrastructure team to you know, install the application, maintain the application, patching, maintenance of the hardware, uh, memory, all these you know, crunches of maintaining the infrastructure can be taken up by the Oracle team. So, that is one of the key highlight of using a OAC. You have various options to directly connect to the database. In previous versions of Oracle BI, you did have database connectivity, but that looks like more of writing a query uh, or PL SQL. Uh, it it, that, it that, uh, in, involves uh, uh, a technical expertise over these domains so that you have to uh, you know, build reports 
uh, by directly connecting to a database. But with OAC, you can create flows, uh, you can do little transformation, aggregation of data, and perform analytics with more options in visualization and more interactive reports with the direct database uh, requests. OAC can also be used uh, for the OBIA implementation. So if a customer is having a Oracle Fusion Cloud and they want that to be used as an enterprise reporting with integration with other uh, applications data that you have, uh, you can use the OBIA component and uh, the warehousing technologies that Oracle delivers uh, with the enterprise reporting solutions as well. How to use OAC? OAC can be subscribed uh, from Oracle with various levels of service agreements. So you have a enterprise version of it, you have a standard version of it, you have different level of engagements uh, that you can actually subscribe this for. This is comparatively lesser in price compared to any other BI uh, technologies that Oracle had uh, provided so far. You have a greater support with OAC to connect to your on-premise or other cloud databases just by enabling a VPN gateway. You can directly connect to the database without having the requirement of a model. Uh, it's not a mandatory thing uh, that you need a RPD model uh, that you usually have in a BI environment. Um, with OAC, you have, a more, you have a wider range of options to connect to your database directly and perform analytics. It also supports the RPD. So any customer who have been used to and using the traditional BI uh, from Oracle, they can also migrate their RPD models, dashboard reportings with a very minimal efforts uh, to the OAC cloud. With OAC, you also has the DBAS, uh, which is database as a service, where you can have your data in the cloud um, with the DBAS. Uh, DBAS is a cloud service as well. You can have the data on cloud, and this cloud database can be connected to the OCI infrastructure, and you can perform your analytics on OAC. With the OAC cloud and the data visualization cloud component, you have a lot of options uh, to build your views and charts with OAC. So this is a small highlight uh, from the range of uh, components or the chart components that you have in OAC. A special analytical app for mobile, there is Oracle Day by Day, which is leveraging the customers to use, perform analytics anywhere, anytime. So there is a very good supporting app for performing BI uh, using OAC. So this also comes as part of your OAC subscription. So that's it from the presentation and a brief about OAC. Thank you, Jackie. And so I wanted to thank everyone for joining us today. And hopefully you'll be able to join us for sessions again in the future. This recording will be made available.